Hey guys, Seaweed from Tribal Soup Project here. Welcome to another episode of Simsational. You're watching the How to Do Stuff series. And today I am going to show you guys how to play as your pet. And what I mean by this is you will have full control over your cat or dog and you'll be able to play them just like you would any other sim in the game. So in order to do this, you of course are going to need the Cats and Dogs expansion and you will also need the All Cheats mod and I will link down to where you can get that mod into the description below and if you don't know how to install mods, stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how to do that also. But first, let's see how this works. We're going to begin by opening up our cheat box by pressing and holding Control shift and the letter C on our keyboard, opening up that cheat box in the top left-hand corner. And we need to enable our cheats by entering in testing, cheats, spacebar, true. And then we hit enter and the dropdown has opened up, letting us know that our cheats have been enabled and the code in order to play our pet is pets dot toggle underscore selectable underscore pets and then if you decide at a later time that you don't really want to play as your pet anymore it's the same exact code to turn it off so we're going to go ahead and hit enter then we're going to hit escape on our keyboard in order to, in order to close the cheat box and just like that we can play as our pet and we can watch, we can play and do all other really cool fun stuff with our pet. So yeah, that's how you do that. Next up is how to install the mod. So the first thing that we need to do before downloading a mod or installing any custom content is we need to make sure that we have enabled this to happen in our game settings. So I'm going to come up here to my options menu and then I'm going to choose game options and then I'm going to click on other. You want to make sure that you have your script mods allowed and your enable custom content and mods box ticked. These two boxes need to be ticked so if they're not ticked in your game, you need to tick them and apply your changes so that they are saved in there and we're ready to go ahead and install our mods and custom content. So the first thing that you need to do to put this mod into your game is you need to completely close out and exit your game. Now you can put the mod into your game while the game is still running, but the mod is not going to take effect until you reboot your game. So you, once you've closed out your game, you're going to come to this site to get the All Cheats mod, which was created by Twisted Mexi. Twisted Mexi is someone who's very well known in the simming community. I've been using this mod for a very long time. It is a safe mod. It's not going to break your computer or your game. And when you get to this page, you're simply going to go ahead and scroll down to this All Cheats script mod and you're going to click it. And then once it is finished downloading, you're going to click this little arrow and select show in folder. Once you see the mod in the folder, you're simply going to right click on it and copy it. Then you're going to come to documents. Then you're going to select electronic arts, the Sims 4, and lastly mods. And then you simply want to right click inside of the folder and paste that mod in and boom, bam, it's just that simple to put the mod in and we're ready to go back into our game. So now that I've restarted my game, this little window has popped up that does not usually pop up. All this window means is it's just going to have a list of any mod or custom content that you've successfully installed into your game. As we can see, we have successfully installed our All Cheats mod. I'm simply going to check this to acknowledge it, and then I would be ready to go back into my game. It was simple as that, guys. 
I hope you guys enjoyed the video as well as learned something from watching it. If you do like the video, please do hit that thumbs up and give us a like. Comment down below with any tips or questions or anything that you would like to say. Feel free to go check out the website. If you've not subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and then hit the bell so that you never miss a video. And until next time, guys, happy summing and I'll catch you all later. Goodbye.